How to get your first client A good freelance designer must be able to interact with clients. And it's not just about naming your price and asking for feedback. The whole communication process that you'll have with your clients revolves around these principles. So you'll need to ask questions to understand the client's needs. You'll need to understand the client's point of view, but also imagine what appeals to his or her target audience. And you'll have to advise your clients as to what's not only pretty, but what will help achieve clients' goals the best. Once you understand that, you can go out on a quest to find your first client. Getting clients is probably the biggest challenge fresh graphic design freelancers have. After all, the competition is, is huge, as the internet allows clients to get projects from anywhere, and maybe sadly from anyone. Here are some tips that you can use when finding your first client. No one will hire you if no one knows what you're doing. If you think that the fact that you have your website up and running, that you create awesome logos and business cards, and that your Facebook page is packed with inspiring quotes, and that it's gonna make clients come and beg you to do a job for them, well, think again. Everyone you know must know what you do. Ask yourself these questions. Do all members of my family, do all my friends know what I do? Do all my past and present co-workers know what I do? No, I got my first jobs from my co-workers. And do local organizations that I'm involved with um, need the kind of work I provide? And don't be scared of telling what you do. Don't be shy. I'm pretty sure no one will look at you like you escaped from the loony bin. More likely they will be interested and tell you something like, good to know, or even better, or maybe worse, if you only told me that a week ago, my friend needed a flyer and I told him I didn't know everyone. At least at the beginning, you don't want any occasion to do any design job miss you. Of course, the networking we are talking about here doesn't have to be only the old school, face-to-face -face way. You can also try some online networking. If you're into writing helpful articles, blogging will get your name out there and might get you some design jobs. By showing the world that you know what you're talking about, you're making your potential customers sure that you are the right person for the job. And there's also plenty of Facebook groups related to graphic design. Join them, see what other designers are, are sharing, share your work, and you might get noticed and actually get a job from a fellow designer who is simply overloaded with work. And forums are old school forms of Facebook groups. So consider sites like sidepoint.com or designerstock.com to put your name out there. And I bet that there are design forums specific to your country or region, so definitely consider joining them and sharing your work there. You know, I can't stress enough how much putting your name out there is important in order to get noticed by clients so you can get your first job. From my own perspective, the most important and essential things you should do to make people aware of how awesome your skills are would be to tell everyone you know that you do graphic design jobs and ask them to pass the message along. And you should get yourself a website or at least a Facebook page so your potential clients know you are legit. And network, network and then network some more. Clients need to get to know you before they give you their money. And putting your name out there is the essential step to take when you want to get your first client. And actually the second one and the third one and all the other ones. But what can you do to get even more clients? So let's talk about that next.